Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is a foam armor project. It's how to make the feet. All right? Gotta have some giving those like that. So, or sabatons. They're called sabatons. Um, I give you the template with all the pieces. You print it up, and you use that to make yours. And I give you two different styles. I give you this gothic style with the gothic toe here. And I give you the more traditional rounded toe. And to do this project, I use these brass fasteners, which are very inexpensive office supply. You put that through, and then you fold over the tabs. Real easy to do. This is a fun and easy, very easy project. If you can't get a hold of brass fasteners, you can always make, make a brass fastener with some wire. And use that. Um, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If not, hit that button. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, print up the template. The link is in the description of this video down below. And it's free. And cut out the pieces. And there are two different toe styles. So, on your, so you'll have your option as to whether you want the gothic toe or the normal toe. And I'm only going to make one here, but you make two. But let's, we'll walk through one complete um, sabaton so you know how to do it. So you lay out your different pieces, choose your toe style, and lay out the pieces on cereal box cardboard. You can also use manila file folders or poster board for this. Uh, cereal box cardboard is a little bit thicker, a little bit better. And then trace all those pieces out. And also write the numbers down just exactly the same spot I have them so you know what's the top and what's the bottom and punch those holes and do the dashed lines too as those are just a guide to help you put it together they're not mandatory but they help and then cut all those pieces out And now your foot is probably a different size. Your feet are probably a different size than my feet. But that's okay. As you make it, you can adjust this, and I'll show you a little bit more. So next thing we're going to do is attach those pieces to craft foam. And it's important what kind of adhesive you use, because you want a good, strong um, bond, but you also, some adhesives will melt craft foam. So before you do this, test a little bit. Glue with the glue you are using, glue a piece of your cardboard to the craft foam and observe it to see if it melts. If you're good, then go right ahead and glue all those pieces down. And you want a really good ad adhesion around the edges, particularly so they don't come up with use, so they don't it doesn't like peel. Once you get them all glued down and the glue is dried, you can cut them out and you can use scissors or an exacto knife, some kind of hobby knife. Having a lot of fun with this. I'm almost done with the complete set of foam armor. I think I only have three pieces to go. One optional, that's the gor gor gorget, the gorget is optional. There we go. Now, make sure you puncture all the holes too, because that's where our fasteners are gonna go through. And as far as the toe goes, I will show you this a little bit later in the video, but make sure you cut that slot out, regardless of which style toe you are using. But with, with the traditional toe, we're gonna actually fold it over like this and then glue it. So see how it forms a, like almost like a steel-toed boot. But don't do that now. We'll, we'll do that as we assemble the, sh the, the sabaton. Looks good. So let's get to building it. Grab your shoes that you're going to wear, and let's start with piece six. Put it right like that, and see how the numbers are? That's why I had you put the numbers on the cardboard. The number always goes up, uh, vertical towards the sky or the zenith. So six, and then attach five to it like this, and those wrap around your ankle. 
You put the fastener through it, and then you just bend over those flaps, and it holds it nice and tight. Very nice, but yet they can still rotate and give. That's the thing about the sabatons. Your foot moves and bends. You want those to move and bend. So there we go. P6 and P6 and P5 are on. So let's just continue. And I find it best to have all these pieces on top. You can also layer them underneath, but let's go with on top. Now piece four, like that. And see, you can adjust those fasteners, put them in a different spot depending on the size of your foot. Piece three, and trim down the um, foam as you need it. It's a pretty generous template. It's for a pretty good size feet, I would imagine. And then part two, I would imagine this will be fine all the way up to like a size 12, maybe bigger. Piece two. And then finally piece one. And once you got that on, now you can fold it over and glue it. And I didn't go with the spray adhesive for this. I wanted it to be even stronger than normal. I was just wanting to make sure it really held, so I used a hot glue gun. It's also quick. If you use a spray, any kind of other adhesive, you're going to want to like clamp it somehow with a clothespin or something while it dries in the formed shape like this. So that's it. You've built your sabaton. Go ahead and build the other one. They are ambidextrous, although that's not quite right. Now you can go ahead and, need, and disassemble it and paint it. Or you can do the painting before you assemble it the first time. That's quite okay. I use a silver paint. Now, straps. If your sabatons aren't staying closed nicely over your feet, I mean, you can work them to get them bent well to have a good shape and then use a heat gun on them to help that. But if not, you can put straps on it like that. One strap goes under the arch of your foot so it doesn't get worn out by the ground too much. And another strap goes forward all the way to the end so it tends to not hit the ground so much because it's curled up because you want those straps to last. And there you go, there's the gothic toe. Thanks for watching that video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.